Hi guys, Jeff here from TAP. Just want to share a, uh, a vehicle problem that we've got in the workshop with this Audi and regarding the ABS module. This particular vehicle is in our workshop today for an ABS problem, so we've been researching uh, possible uh, faults, etc., that may occur, and actually we've got a repair solution on our website for virtually the same model vehicle with an ABS problem. The problem was with, with this particular one is the ABS module. What we have to remember with a lot of the later model cars that we're dealing with, these modules need to be coded into the vehicle. So you've got to be very careful when you start getting involved with these jobs that you are capable of being able to code that particular component into the car, otherwise you might get yourself in a bit, a bit of a sticky situation. In regards to the Audi, the new module which it required was a $5,000 purchase, uh, non-returnable. So you bought it, you owned it sort of thing. So very, very uh, uh, you know, uh, costly uh, part and some customers may balk at that particular case. In this particular case, we were able to extract the codes from the car. So the uh, Rostec uh, VCDS scan tool, uh, we could get that particular tool and extract the necessary uh, information from the vehicle, in other words, the, the long coding, etc., from the vehicle, so we can have that information to code it into a, re a replacement unit. In this particular case, couldn't find any uh, locally uh, uh, correct module and uh, modulator pumps. Uh, we could not find a repairer to repair it as they burn out as they are common. Uh, and obviously 5,000 for the new one. We were uh, able to uh, locate a second hand one with exactly the right part numbers, etc. in Germany. So the customer decided we'd go with that one. So it was ordered. Uh, and once it arrived, we were able to fit that up, bleed the brakes, uh, brake fluid change. And then we were able to cut and paste basically the uh, coding numbers off the original unit into the second hand that we fitted to the car to get it up and operational. So using the, the Rostec uh, uh, scan tool, we we're able to do that in this particular case. So if you've got a Rostec scan tool or you're looking at maybe looking at getting one to service your VAGCOM vehicles, your VW, Audi, Skoda, etc. We have a webinar coming up, Brendan's going to be doing on the 28th of February and or the 1st of March on this, that exact uh, scan tool, the Rostec uh, 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 a VCDC scan tool. So if you're interested to watch that one, go to the training links, etc. in the book uh, position in that particular uh, one. The, the Rostec is a very, very good uh, scan tool on the VAGCOM brand. Uh, again, a lot of the dealers even use it because it is so powerful. And it is a bit quirky. It has a different operational system to most of our aftermarket scan tools. So again, if you're interested in getting involved in that sort of stuff, maybe a great webinar to actually uh, catch on to and watch Brendan later on in February. <coughs> So again, in this particular case, the, the long coating was extracted with the Rostec scan tool and we're able to put that into the second hand unit we're able to purchase from Germany overseas. So a successful outcome on that repair solution that's in our, on our website. Again, if you are a member, make sure you're utilising those repair solutions when a car comes into your workshop. You never know, somebody else might have struck the same symptoms, etc. that you've got in your workshop today. And that's one of the real benefits of being a TAP member. See you next time.